Hello, hey, and welcome back to Rushed Vibes. I am your host, Jessica Rushed Vibes Rushing, accompanied by my (laughs) co-host, Mr. David Rushed Vibes Rushing, and we are back to Rush the Vibe with you, our tribe. Tribe? Tribe. The tribe is a vibe, and the vibe is back. Vibe is back. So, we're back. We're back. Yeah. Our vibe is back. It's been a minute. Yeah, we were supposed to be back in February. And it's July. Yeah, it's July. (laughs) But we are back. Here we are. A lot of life has happened since December was that the last recording the last recording was in 2022 it was happy new year happy new year if you're Ghanaian Afishampa that's what we would Mm. say to you happy black history month happy Juneteenth happy Happy Easter American Pacific Islanders heritage month Happy Mother's happy Pri- Day. Happy Pride Month. Happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Happy 15 days after Juneteenth Day. Happy 15 days after Juneteenth Day. And that's it, right? I think I think that's all the President's Day. Happy President's Day. To Barack Obama. And uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to uh, James St. Patrick. <laughs> the only St. Patrick we acknowledge. Yeah. You look nice. Do I? You look cleaned up. Thank you. I I am cleaned up. You are. Yeah. Because you look it. I showered this morning. You did. I got my hair cut yesterday and then I got my I got my hair. Yeah, you look retwisted really, today. You look really fresh because you were like teetering that like I'm one email away from living on a street corner look gone. Oh, really? yeah well but, but now you you know it's hard out here <laughs> it, it, it <laughs> is hard and inflation in- my barber went up in, in prices he is like he hit me with the because you know your relationship with your barber is such that you know when he's about to hit you with some something heavy some change of pace mm-hmm. so he was he put me in the chair and you know, he threw the apron over me and, and he tapped me on my shoulder. Two taps. He was like, I just want to let you know. And I was just like, I was like, he's either closing down. I got to find another barber for the first time in like five years. Or he's going up in price. And sure enough, he's like, I'm going up in price. But what I found out is that apparently he had had another price hike. And he, a couple years ago, and skipped it. I didn't know, so I was just paying him what I'd always paid him. He didn't say anything, but that's because we got that kind of relationship. Mm-hmm. And I, I overpaid when I first started going to him. So he owed you. He had residuals roll over. You know, it helps. Helps to it's a, have you, favor. Look, you got to take care. You got to take care. So you got to take care of people. Of so yeah, it's inflation, and you know, with kids and and work, it's not always easy to go get your hair retwisted Mm -mm. it takes a couple hours so but i made time you did it looks time and it it got done you look young again thanks you don't look well it's because you can't see the gray because i got my head but you don't look tired i am tired i know but now you don't look it no okay you look good thank you you look great thank you i put in a little effort that's normal hairs hairs out because i've been leaving it up pinned pinned back if i'm not doing anything or not leaving the house but did some makeup i had a training today so i had had some lipstick on so i was like i'm gonna bring the vibe tribe the whole face i'm gonna serve a serve face serve face nice so bon appetit you are you are serving thanks i felt like a snap was called for cool so i remember when we originally took our hiatus like i had a running note of like things that current events that were happening Mm because again we were only supposed to be gone for a month and a half to 
research and and figure out how we were going to make this podcast like it and then i thought we were just taking a break no remember (laughs) i wanted us to do research because i was like we should find a way to get this to be to monetize like we we enjoy it so we were supposed to do like market research and 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 listen to podcasts watch podcasts what we like oh yeah i remember now yeah we never did any of that no we didn't Um, not not collecting that together yeah no we not together individually. um and we, i think i feel like we have a few podcasts that we listen to that are the same but we listen to separately um but we don't which one of course that surprises me is the brilliant idiots that you actually listen to that it's that one's hard because mind-boggling to because me because it's hard for me to listen to Charlemagne. Um, Why? Char- I'm very particular about voices, male voices. Oh, you don't like his voice. Okay. And Charlemagne has, and it's funny because I feel the same about Van as well. Charlemagne, Charlemagne and Van both have vo- voices that are very polarizing for me. So Van is very nasally. Yeah, it's good nasally. And I don't, I, I, it's very difficult for me to listen to someone with a nasally voice. Um, and then Charlemagne his voice he speaks like i don't necessarily think it's his voice he speaks like someone who's always gonna say something who's about to say something stupid well for much of his career it's because he he did well but he's older now and you know he's all about heal, but, healing and but, but you know mental health that, so he's, the, he's scaled the, it back a little the bit the way of which he speaks it still holds that so it's very hard from because i feel like everything there's no i'm always anticipating the foolishness that i don't I have to listen really hard yeah. to hear like, oh, he's actually saying something that's intellectually jarring or pulling or something like that. Sure. So both of those are not individuals that I would naturally gravitate to. And honestly, I'm not in the car as much as I used to be. So that was my time for listening to podcasts. And there was a time when I was at my desk, I would listen to podcasts, but I'm always in meetings. I'm always talking, um, I'm always listening to something. So I don't have the, t- I, I, my favorite podcast I haven't listened to in months. So I don't even know. I don't even know if it's worth trying to catch up on or just accepting that. Well, the, well, the great thing about podcasts is that, you know, you can go back and listen to it whenever you want to. But yeah, it, it's not like, I feel like current event, that's the, the bad, at least for me, the bad thing about current event podcast, because you're speaking of what's happening in the present. So me going back and listening two months later, I already know how it played out. I know how your opinion worked against this particular issue or how it didn't. I think I appreciate the more lie. Like we have such a fast paced society that we could have an opinion piece tonight and by tomorrow it's already expired. So for me, I think because I listen to more current event as opposed to topic or motivational podcast, I appreciate listening as close to live as possible because it's I'm my I'm processing my thoughts or opinions on a matter as you are processing your thoughts and opinion on a matter as opposed to that already happened. Granted, you have the whole, OK, I didn't think about that perspective and and or now you're seeing it played out or it's already played out and you're listening to what someone thought and then you can either be like ah you you should have you could have thought this way or whatnot so i don't know i I feel like that's the complicated things about current event podcasts as opposed to like this is a murder mystery this is you know a true crimes this is a how to wake up in the morning joyful podcast type of thing well i mean yeah but it's not just about the current events but you tune into a specific person because you care about mm-hmm. their opinions and how they deliver it so you can still at least get their take that's true on the news and that's get true. get their opinion so that's why i say you can always go back okay. now i say all that and very rarely do i go back and listen to old so, episodes yeah. that i've missed so i i get it too but but you you have such a such a connection with what's the name demetria mm-hmm. yeah that I feel like you need to just I do. I miss her. I feel like I know her personally. I anticipate there are times where I feel like you should know her personally. I anticipate a point in our lives where we're going to cross paths. Maybe you already have. And you just don't know it. Maybe you passed her at Charlotte Douglas. Maybe. Maybe I did. Uh, maybe my one trip to DC, I passed her, or that one trip to LA, we passed her. Who never knows? Who or, never know. or next time we go to Ghana, maybe That's we'll just true. roll she up. She might on. be back there. She um, might, she's she might be there now. But, but you were saying, what, what, what were we supposed to do? Yeah. For our so break? I mean, we we've uh, you've expressed it in the in episodes past that you know you really enjoy 
the fundamentals that go into the podcast. So I kind of had this moment where I was like, there are people who have so many types of podcasts and, you know, you see them, they come on Good Morning America, they're solving, you know, cold cases, whatnot. And it's monetized. They're making money off of it. The podcast we listen to, um, even the one we just referenced, Demetria, she, her podcast, you know, she has, granted, she has a backbone in journalism and all of that stuff, but, you know, she is doing advertisement. She's making money off of it. So, you know, I figured this is something we enjoy. I wanted us to get to a point where we did the research, we did the work and we were able to, you know, make a few dollars off of this podcast and maybe it could turn into a full-time job type of thing. Um, but life kind of came fast and it came hard and, uh, we didn't get to do any of that. I think we, we, appreciated as much as we enjoy the podcast it's a lot of logistics that go into it you got the kids get, got to get the kids down we were struggling with savi for a long time where you still know, are we still are that child is she that, don't sleep. she don't sleep sleep is not is not her it's it's not her favorite thing um nap time is perfect night sleep is not is Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you get her to sleep and then she might wake up in an hour. Um, she's been spending a lot of time in Salas's bed, waking up and then just bum rushing Salas's bed or coming into our room and I tell her to go to Salas's bed. But um, her schedule and then work individually, our work has just been a lot. Um, my company, we're launching a new system for our client. So it's been a lot of building the system, talking to developers, figuring out all the nuances, representing everyone to make sure this system works successfully because it's make or break. It could be make or break um, with our client. And I mean, your your work has been tasking you a lot. It's been pulling on you a lot. So, you know, that's the thing with life. Like if you have a window of time that you're using for something and you, you stop, it's very, it doesn't take much. Your mom always references like, horizontal spaces in houses that they'll get filled and that's kind of how time is too that if you just have something hmm. you never heard a reference that Am I i'm not gonna say i've never heard it but i, I i've never heard it and retained yeah her, 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 her. um so that's that's, kind in, of how, that's interesting yeah that's horizontal kind of spaces time is, so. Get filled. Huh. so yeah so we are I feel like there have been a lot of miscellaneous topics that have come up over the past few months that, you know, you'll send to me, I'll send to you and we're like, oh, this would be a good episode. But the actual like. Yeah, well, we, there's also the fact that more recently we had to sort of break down the studio. That's true. So I mean, it was just a matter of like, OK, it took all that to break it down. Do I want to put it all back together? And. Up until tonight, that answer was no, but, you know, we just kind of felt like, why not? It's time. It's it's, it's past time. It's, it is time. Because we've said it, like we'll send, I would send, I think a few months back, I sent a text and I was like, it's time. It's time. And he was like, time for what? I thought she was, <laughs> she was trying to, I was, she was, meant it was time for something else. I was like, okay. And then. No. And she was like, it, so she was, was like, like podcast. I'm I like, was like, oh, this is confirmation that it's not, it's actually indeed uh, not time. But so I was like, time for what? That time? Oh, podcast time. Yeah, you know, for me, it's it's very surprising because I kind of spearheaded a lot of. I kind of spearheaded a lot of what we do with the podcast. I put this set together. I bought all the equipment. Taught myself how to produce as the executive producer, it's the, the sole executive, the sole executive producer. producer. I taught myself how to do all this. Producer. So, and I even spoke about it, I guess we'll call this season three. Uh, in season two, the, the, the difference between David in season two and David in season one, like season one, I was up all night editing. I was making sure we pushed this thing out in 4K, never missed a record episode. But season two, I was just like, eh. You know, we'll get it out. <laughs> when we get it out, somebody listen to it. And so when we took our break and things kept happening, work became more tasking, kids relapsed and, you know, started going into new phases. Our oldest is involved in like everything, everything because Jessica doesn't understand sometimes that she, Solace is only seven and our middle doesn't, is need, and doesn't need to too. have, doesn't need to have a full like adults workload. 
but yeah, I would, I would, well, I mean, you have to walk by the, pretty much walk by the studio every day and I'd be like, we probably need to go in and record, but I just didn't have it. Like. It's a lot. I didn't because I knew it's easy to sit down and talk, but it's everything that comes after it, right? You got to edit it and then you got to wait for it to transfer over and then you edit it and then you put it up. And But now it's been so long. I'm going to have to like teach myself certain things all over again. So, you know, it's a little, a little uncharacteristic for me, but enough time away uh, has made that the, the, the want to do it is still, it's still there. And it, it was just kind of dormant for a little bit. But here we are. Here we are. Here we sit. Season three, episode one. Season three, episode one. And we didn't do any, any promo for this. No. I was just going to show up. My plan is that. Oh, wait, I did put on Instagram. I can take it down. <laughs> Delete the story. <laughs> My bad. I no, it's really, it's, it's really important when you, if you do things with your, your spouse that y'all are on one accord. That's all I did. What does it say? It just says full face makeup, cocktail, and dot, dot, dot. And then I got the sign in the background. Why are you? <laughs> Why are you? Am I? No, you just. Should just, I delete it? You're just cute. I mean, it's, it's whatever. I mean, who's seen it? 94 people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nine people. Calm down. Oh. <laughs> no, like, wait a minute. You just posted it. You already got nine. I was like, you don't got that kind of. Club. You don't got that kind of following. I don't. No, you don't. You only got like, what, 1,200 followers? Take it down? Yeah, take it down. The element of surprise. Delete from I want people to be like, oh my gosh, they're back. <sighs> hey, yo. Lasai. Um, if y'all aren't on it yet, threads. Zuckerberg finally got one. He finally did it. Threads is the uh, the Instagram competitor for Twitter, and it dropped yesterday. Today's Thursday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it dropped yesterday, and they basically made it easy. You could just essentially port over your your Instagram profile, and you could request to follow everyone who you already follow on Don't on, do Insta- that. on Instagram. No, that's a big mistake. And it's like, for those of you who are like OG social media users, it's really like Twitter in its, in its heyday, like original Twitter, no, no spaces, no fleets, like nothing, just straight timeline, chronological, you send a tweet, you send a tweet, like no hashtags, no nothing. Like it's, it's, it's nostalgic, it's nostalgic, it's simple. And sometimes it's like my cousin Lamont said, like sometimes simplicity is mm-hmm. is what you need. Now they need to add some features, obviously. Hashtags. But hashtags. Black threads. But um it's pretty dope. Also, I'm using my Pixel Fold from Google, Google's first foldable. It's pretty dope. You can uh They don't they don't care. They do care. You can use like so if I wanted to, I could do hold on, this is pretty awesome. I could do threads and Twitter side by side. The competitors <laughs> competing for my screen time. Your phone blows up while you do that. <laughs> Like, and this is so awesome. Like, I wish we had a cameraman in here. I wish we had like a live crew. I could be like, yo, can you, can you pull in on this? But we don't. You so. can just get up and take it to your camera. I could, but then, but yeah, then it just, just folds like that. I'm going to wait for my foldable iPhone in 10 years. Yeah. Cause it's not coming. Um, what were we? What were we doing? You. Oh yeah, we just we just gonna roll up on people. So hopefully y'all will be very surprised when your subscriptions, notifications, and Apple Music and Spotify go off, and your YouTube notifications go off. If I can get this edited, no, I'm still sitting, still season two. We don't know what season three Dave is gonna be like, but you know I got a full slate tomorrow. So you maybe I get this edited. Maybe I don't. Depends on how long we go because we all know we'll come in here. We're going to do like 45 minutes, 50 minutes, we out. And then at like 38 minutes, Jessica will just get this second win and just talk for another hour. And then I look up when we got a two hour episode, I got to edit. It's real easy to just talk when you don't have to edit. It takes a lot to do this. A lot of brain power. 
Why can't you even make me a drink? Because you had a drink earlier. You didn't ask for a drink. I did have a drink earlier. Sorry, Alan's texting me. So? <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, you don't want me to see what our most loyal listener is is texting me about. He's interrupting an episode. That's what he doesn't. He doesn't know that. He well, he'll find out when he watches the episode. No, he won't and that's out. how we'll know if he watched the episode because he'll be like, "Oh, Jess really did me like that." Yes, I did. Um, so we talked about threads. I really had this cute segue I was going to do, but David just jumped right in. So there goes that for threads. Yeah. Oh, my bad. It's gone. You can't do it. Oh, but sorry. what the there's. Are we just going to jump right into it? Is there anything else we want to address? Um, I don't think so. Okay, cool. So what really triggered it? This was yesterday, right? That I sent it to you? Well, somebody sent it to me first. <gasps> Audacity. But um, I mean, it's the same thing everybody else. But then it was, with the, the irony is I've, on my social media, I've been like, we're going to have to deal with this all weekend. And now here I am. Talk about getting ready to talk about it. So with we just want to send a big thank you to Miss Kiki Palmer. Wait, wait, what is we? How are you, speak, you speaking on behalf of me? I am um, to Miss Kiki Palmer because oh, Lord. her antics are the reason why we are sitting here reviving rushed vibes. This is actually very factual. <laughs> this is pretty. It's pretty factual. To come to you all and break down our opinions of Usher Cheekgate. Is that what we're calling it, Cheekgate? I, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything. That's what I got on the fly. Um, unthreaded? I don't know. So, essentially, if you are not current with what's going on. So, Kiki Palmer. You know, what was her name? Something in the B. She was in that movie. Um, Akila. Akila. Akila and the Bee with Queen Latifah. Like we we've watched Kiki Palmer grow up. Um, a lot of people, and I say that, but Kiki's like two years younger than me. Um, Kiki, you love her song. <laughs> it's Drake's song. I know. Uh, so could be her song. Kiki Palmer recently had a baby, and a lot of people were like, they made a big deal about the fact that like she had a baby, and I. Back when I was able to listen to podcasts, someone was like, yeah, Lil Kiki's having sex. And that's why she's pregnant and she's having a baby. I mean, she's like. She's not Lil anymore. No, but, you know, there's some people you're just adult. always pro. It, it's like when you become an adult and you start seeing kids that you knew and they grow, they're growing up and you're like, I remember. And it's so annoying when you're the kid and people are like, I remember when you were blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, but I'm not. But you, you have to remember that people grow as you're growing. Right. So I think a lot of people just didn't see her as an adult woman. So she had a baby uh, with her boyfriend who I don't know who he Darius is. Darius Jackson is his name. What a name. Darius Jackson. This is a strong name. It was a strong it's name. A very, it, very, it would, if you heard the name Darius Jackson, you would, I would think, I guess this is a, this is a you know very strong name, very principled. Principle, you know, down to earth. It's smart, strong brother. It's given like Alabama Darius Jackson, football player, strong, like second cousin to Herschel Walker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, I I'll tell you this. Having never seen or heard of him before, because I, I, Kiki and I don't run in the same circles. No, so, she and I do. Oh, uh, uh, when I read, when I heard what his name was, because I heard of him before I knew his name, and then I saw the picture of him, and it really. <laughs> the math was a math. Yeah, the math. But I mean, but I don't. I don't want to be disrespectful either, because I don't I know mean, anything some about him. Just don't always live up to the name. He doesn't. They have. He, he doesn't look like his name. Mm mm. Um, but continue. So I don't. I he's don't, also, a, I believe, he's a personal trainer. Is that what I was going to say? The, I don't know. He play, I think he, I believe he played college football at like one of the one like of the that. one of the California schools, maybe Fresno. Uh -huh. I can look it up. Okay. On my Google um, Google Pixel Fold. As we've all seen the Kiki clip, 
I, I don't know this man. If I saw this man in the street, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know him. I didn't know him before. I didn't even know Kiki was in a relationship. I also don't follow Kiki like that. Um, I know like there was a time where people were always hating on her. Uh, it didn't seem like it seemed like no matter what she did, someone had some negative opinion to say about her. I personally, I like Kiki Palmer. I can only take her in small doses. She gives off the accelerated Popeye's chicken woman. And that's overwhelming for me. So that like, baby, I can't, I can only take that, that personality in, in so much doses. But other than that, I do have a great appreciation for, for Kiki Palmer. I feel like she's doing great things. She was on, um, Sarah, Michael, Kiki and Sarah, um, when Sarah from the view, they had, she had a show with Michael Strahan. She went on maternity leave. Kiki stepped in and then Fresno state. Fresno State, cool. Um, Football scholarship. She stepped in while Sarah was on maternity leave, and they loved her. She did such a great job. They ended up adding her to the show. And there's this, you know, secret conspiracy that during the pandemic, when all of the protesting was taking place, Kiki was very vocal um, about Black Lives Matter. So she ended up they canceled the show. Um, but people speculate that it was because she was being so active in the black community and ABC just wasn't here for it. That's neither here nor there. But that's part of why I have an appreciation for Kiki, because I was watching her in the afternoons. Um, I liked her. Um, she's very she's good. She, she's very entertaining. So a few months back, announced that she's pregnant. Um, she did the whole M um, not MTV Saturday Night Live thing, showed off her belly and it was like, oh my gosh, Kiki Palmer's pregnant. And then I moved on and some people didn't. But um, I had no clue she had a boyfriend. Um, and then I had no clue who said boyfriend was. But this is not a surprise. Darius Jackson. Darius Jackson. Um, this is not a surprise. I feel like people who have Jackson as their last name, it kind of defaults that Something toxic. about Jackson. Not toxic. <laughs> Something about Jackson is just like abusive. You no, you can put any name in front of Jackson, and it's just gonna like it's gonna have clout. I don't know. No. Um. So, where was I going with this? And he's light skinned too. So. Yeah, I thought it was white for a minute. The original picture I saw because I didn't see him until the baby was Darius, born. Darius, man. I mean. No. Nah, I. I mean, maybe like one. I'm sure there's there's a white. I ain't Darius. never met no white Darius in my life. There's, I'm thirty. I'm a thirty six year old man. I'm gonna find a white Darius. Thirty five. There's there's a white Darius. I'm not thirty six. Because I knew goodness. a white Shaniqua. No, you didn't. I did no. because we were at a modeling audition. <laughs> no, you, no, you didn't. We were at a modeling audition. I don't care. I and don't. They came in the room and they said Shaniqua and they looked at me and I was like, y'all, my name is Jessica. I don't care what she said. Her name was her mom. Ain't name her Shaniqua. She was Shaniqua. No, she blonde was. hair, blue eyed. It's a lie. Um, I think they called her Shani. Anyway, that yeah. again, I didn't know her personally. I'm just saying this was the interaction that we had. So I didn't see Mr. Jackson until after the baby was born when they posted like the hospital pictures. And so the picture they show, he's real, he's really fair skinned. So the picture they showed, the lighting, I just thought he was white. So I was like, let me find out Kiki out here, you know, playing the teams. Um, there's um, Again, not my business, not my problem. There's, there I hope we're arriving to the. We, we're trying to. Okay. We're trying to. Y'all are we? I'm out of season, so you know, bear with um, me. Because we don't, we don't care about your personal. Anyway, so again, affection with, with the like, Kiki. I was like, congratulations. You know, whenever anyone joins the club of motherhood, I I'm like, welcome, welcome to you. Uh, so there was a post that he had made. She had worn this cat suit a few mm -hmm. months back after the baby was born and people kind of came for them like she got out of the limo she was just like cat suit fitted and i was amazed that someone had just popped out a whole human and just looked so great and he had posted a picture of her wearing the cat suit saying like i can't remember what the baby's name is but you know my son has essentially like shifted her body in a great way um because for a lot of women it takes having a baby for your body to you know reconform and start doing all like the, the different letters of the alphabet so s you know curvy mm -hmm. we follow him okay we're picking up what i'm putting down so um very regular he was <laughs> that's a lie um so he was Rel relatively speaking he was admiring he there was a season where he was admiring and people actually came for him because there was a video where she was walking out of the limo and he was holding the baby he kind of looked like a scrub um because he was like in like sweats and it just looked real casual. I don't know. Pandemic wear. It wasn't. This was like 
three months ago. It's pandemic. They declared the pandemic over like five months ago. Oh, did they? They did. Biden like did a whole declaration. I could. Well, he's probably like me and just leaned into it. Any, anyway, um, yeah, so more, people see what were kind of like, now. why is he holding the baby? And then it kind of pulled the whole ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Y- y'all know they have another baby? Uh, you do because we're late, but. <laughs> do we know I'm, they're happening? I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to catch <laughs> yeah, they up. They know. Do we I'm just, know? I'm just trying to catch up with all the things we didn't talk about because uh, we missed Super Bowl. Anyway, so, you know, people were doing the whole what's masculinity, man with a child, and the woman is leading, and all of the psychoanalyzing and all of that good stuff that they do whenever a man does something that is seen, that is part of his responsibility as a man and as a father. See, so we're, we're about to fork. You're no, about to I'm, fork I, to another, I'm, a whole other conversation. I need to say but focus. then you know you got your people who are like he's standing this way, she's in front, so she's the breadwinner and she's the head of household. All of that good stuff. Again, we'll come back to that. I'm going to stay on the course. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. So in thirty minutes. Thirty minutes already. Thirty minutes Don't already. Don't put stress on me. I'm, not, I'm just so saying. You know, yesterday, I hear. Yesterday, um, <laughs> you say I hear. I hear. Okay. Um, Mr. Jackson. Darius. I'm really not at a place where I feel like he warrants me referring to him by his first name. Darius. Mr. Jackson. You know, I have heard, I have heard of a white guy named Darius. He was an M- NBA Darius. player. I don't know if he's, he's European. His name was Darius Sangaila. Played for the Kings. Yeah, he's from somewhere. Yeah. Um, but that's like one. Yes. Sorry. That's all we need is one. Because when there's one, there's usually four more. So Kiki went to an Usher concert, which I've heard that Usher's concerts are amazing to attend. I was actually looking at a f- friend of a friend's story on Instagram, and she was at the Usher concert. And he was like, he walked like right in front of her, and she's got the whole video of it. Um, but I've heard, you know, we know Usher's a great performer, but I've heard his recent concerts are really, really good. So she went to an Usher concert. She was wearing an outfit that... Initially, I didn't see anything wrong. She turned around and her cheeks were out. And I was like, okay. So it's essentially a bodysuit with a sheer skirt. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it, but it depends. If somebody was paying me, um, maybe I'd wear it somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I got three kids to put through college, so I can't always. (laughs) I either got to put them through college or buy their first business down payment, whatever. So, you know, sometimes you got to take one for the team. It's the sacrifice of a parent. Again, getting back on track. But wow. it was a very Kiki Palmer outfit. Kiki Palmer has a body and she shows it off. I've never really seen her as the type to overdo it. But, you know, she shows off her body. And, you know, it's 2023. That's how these young kids be doing. So it's how the old kids be doing. I see some old people too. Anyway, now they again, staying on track. So her, the father of her child. There is. Mr. Jackson um, took it upon himself before threads went went fully live um, and made a post on Twitter, essentially outfit shaming um, Kiki and and saying you're a mom. And then he he had a follow up tweet that Do you want me to read it, please. So the uh, Let's take our legal note. And we have Alan to thank because he put this on my radar early. Oh, I took a screenshot. So he's the first tweet was, and I'll put this up on the screen. Maybe uh, he won't it's remember. it's the outfit though. You a mom, and then the follow up tweet was: We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks. Literally, he said he wrote booty cheeks, which makes him my kind of guy because I would say booty cheeks um, to please it others. Seems redundant. But okay. To please others, and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. That was those were the tweets, so, and apparently, I think he, he put a few more out, but then ultimately, uh, Black Twitter deactivated ran him off. Deactivated his Twitter when they started bringing up old tweets, old stuff. Because the thing about 2023 is we have receipts. We. So you're, you're part of the mob. 
That's what you're I'm, saying. I'm not. I don't have receipts. Said, I don't have the we. capacity for receipts. But I know that there's somebody out there who has receipts. So they started pulling out the receipts. So initially, I'll say this: when I first, when I saw, I saw the first, the first booty cheeks, the first. <laughs> I saw the screenshot on one of the Instagram accounts I follow and it just said the outfit though, dot, 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 you a mom. So I thought it was like, look at that outfit though. You a mom. Hey. And then, you know, I read the actual caption to the post and then I swiped over and I saw the additional post and I said, Oh, this went a completely different direction than I expected it to go to. Cause I thought he was praising her because that's what I've seen him do in the past. Um, and just the way grammatically it presented, it seemed like it was like, yo, you a mom and you out there in that outfit. I see you back that up. Um, that's not where we went. And for myself personally, I remember thinking when I read, I was like, your insecurity is showing. And I had a lot of directions that I went. Um, I'm not here. My legal note, my, this is my opinionated truth. I'm not here to speak on behalf of Mr. Jackson, nor am I here to speak on behalf of Miss Kiki Palmer. Um, I'm just giving my opinionated truth and my opinions go in a lot of different directions. I can't say that I stand with Mr. Jackson. I'm not one for body shaming. I'm not one for outfit shaming um, because people have been wearing minimal outfits since time immemorial. Um, and granted location makes a difference in terms of what you, I guess, should or shouldn't wear. So, if she was at a beach, if you took away the sheer part of her outfit, that's a swimsuit. Um, <clears throat> if you think about what we wear, bikinis and stuff that we wear to the beach, like that's essentially a bra and underwear. So, but the context of the location qualifies that it's okay to be dressed like this here because that's what society has deemed as the type of outfit for this location. Okay. So he's upset that she presented himself, herself like that. I kind of had an issue, again, I, I, they maybe got secretly married because in his follow-up message, he said, wife, family. Um, so I don't know, I don't think they got married. I'm pretty sure she's he's still her boyfriend. Um, Everything I've read. Is emphasizing boyfriend. Emphasizes boyfriend. Yeah, so that was another thing that bothered me. So and she ain't corrected nobody. Hmm? And she hasn't corrected nobody. She has not, because she would have. She really hasn't said much, and I'm here for it. Um, but that was another thing. Maybe we all could could take a page. Not us. I'm not us. I'm just saying. Okay, I was like, you got something you need to say? Something you got to get off your chest? I, I imagine at some point I'll have a turn. But uh, you, I mean, you're not speaking, so you're just sitting there with what your did, leg crossed. What, what so. did you? No, what, what, we were listening to an old unreleased episode on the way home. No, it wasn't. It was released on the way home the other night. And you literally said podcasting with you is so frustrating because you're always interrupting me. I have made a conscious and concerted effort not to interrupt you. And now you say you're not saying nothing. I mean, you're not. Do you just, see? Just this be, is just be you, man. So I can compl I'm a complain either way. So just be you. See? Um, I'll let me finish this point in 20 minutes and then I'll let you speak. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes. We're about to wrap this thing up. Um, so. Okay, this is where, you know, the feminist and all those other fancy word people are going to come for me. I am not one to, it comes back to that old statement, like, don't give a boyfriend, a uh, husband stuff. I can't remember the whole thing. Old ladies used to say it. Um, I felt like I interpreted a lot of what he said as I this is my woman so she should act a certain way and i feel like there's a misconception with girlfriend fiance and wife and the requirements that a wife is supposed to give you in terms of representing you outside um in comparison to your girlfriend your baby mama your fiance etc cetera, etc cetera. um and and that's a very sensitive topic for some you know feminism all that fun stuff um i'm not for you know patriarchy at i think 
sometimes depends uh i'll have to look into that i'll work on that um but i am just a firm i am a traditionalist in some capacity and in in the capacity of you are not her husband so you yes y'all went half on a baby together but you don't get to dictate how she presents herself to the world and 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 say that it is a reflection of you because it's not you are not the head of a household with her you like if unless you have a will if you die if she dies nothing she has goes to you with the exception of the child because the child is yours so i think that there's a people forget the complex like people are always like oh we don't need to be married blah 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 but then you have someone like darius jackson mr darius jackson um who almost wants his cake and eat eat it too you can't you know out of the side of your mouth appreciate that you know she's had this baby her shape has come together you know she's out there she's looking great she's showing it off to the world but then when she's out enjoying herself and either y'all got into some kind of fight or she's just you know being kiki palmer um which is what attracted you to her in the first place likely or part of what attracted you to her in the first place be upset about that and then start pulling cards from a husband deck that you don't have so if you want if you're trying to say that she represents me which is something that i'm sensitive about um just in terms of like oh you're married you represent your husband like my husband also represents me like if you do any foolishness in the streets that's going to come back on me so it's it's a two-way street but you're not her husband and the the term family is it can be used in mult a lot of different ways um there there are different there's not one type of family but so yes they are a family they are a mother a father and a child they are a family unit um i don't know that we don't know the dynamics of their relationship but i felt like he was calling on some requirements that a husband can have of a wife she's not his wife she owes him nothing with the exception of the child they share they can part ways and their life like it will be a smooth separation as opposed to we're separating assets and all of this because we're married because we went before god and committed our lives to each other so i think there's a misconception of what is what is required just because we're in a relationship and we're dating doesn't mean that i have to give you the rights that you're seeing you know your homeboy who has a wife give out to the world so i'm gonna stop and give you a chance to speak because i haven't done that the, just speak don't don't i don't need <laughs> yeah, all right. don't, i don't need all your extra i haven't said anything literally <laughs> um man i gotta tell you you got nothing this is the most this is what happens in the summertime. There's no basketball, no NBA. There's WNBA, so I shouldn't say there's no basketball. There's no NBA. Football hasn't started back yet. Just baseball. Maybe some golf. People, people out of school. Kids are out of school. Adults are working summer hours, especially if you're remote, which means you're probably not doing much work at all. I'm doing And, uh... You know, people just, they're just on their phones and, and stuff happens and it becomes this big thing. When it probably shouldn't be, right? So it's fascinating to me just how, how big this got. And um, I, I, I won't be surprised if we're still talking about this like early next week. But... I'll be honest, I didn't really think there was anything wrong with the dress, with the, with the outfit, because it had the, the cover, right? Like, it's not, I mean, we got to understand, it's not Kiki, like, next door, the lady who works at Dollar General, right? I mean, she she's in entertainment, mm -hmm. right? She's a celebrity. Uh, when celebrities step out, because everything's about branding and, you know, how many pictures and images and how many how many 
social media posts can I be the 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 focal point of and how many magazine covers can I can I be on the front of I mean the objective is to garner attention and attract attention and and even if that's not the case maybe that's just how she was feeling and how she wanted to move so I but I I feel like there there are more I've seen more scandalous outfits on on I've seen more uh, scandalous outfits on on women before, and I, I I use air quotes specifically because I I see a lot of pictures of dudes on social media in their drawers with the with the abs and the and the and the baby oil on so that they can get the the look, and nobody calls that scandalous or nobody says yo you a dad put your put your breast assist away <laughs> you know nobody nobody ever says that so you know i've really undergone a rethinking of how me myself but how as a society we really how do we really feel about women like do we really see them as equals is there a double standard um because i don't get how kiki goes out she's not on a pole she didn't twerk on usher <laughs> she she wasn't dancing on a table and spinning for ones she wore an outfit that she wanted to wear she was with one of the most popular entertainers of of our time and they were, and as, a, as an entertainer herself, they were being entertaining, right? That's how I saw it. And, you know, the stuff going on on social media is like, oh, she shouldn't ever ask Cheeks out and blah, 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 blah. But Darius himself posted a picture on his Instagram some time ago. We sit on the edge of his bed in his drawers. It was like dad bod or something like that. What's the difference? You putting yourself out there on social media, I'm sure he's got some thousands of followers. He's not as big as Kiki, of course, and there was no, you know, Shakira wasn't in the room with him. But if we're just talking about you shouldn't be wearing that because you're, you hold this title, then technically the arena doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And who's in the arena doesn't matter. So why is it okay for Darius to post pretty much three quarters of himself naked online but kiki can't wear a dress where it may be a little revealing i just don't, i don't get it and one i don't care it's not my wife not my relationship um i encourage you to wear whatever you want to wear i think you should feel good about yourself when you go out whether i'm with you or not i just have a level of trust and love in my relationship where that's not something i really worry about mm. I, I just don't i don't have to and it's, it's let me tell you <laughs> it is it is it is so great it's amazing like there was a stretch it was like three straight weeks i didn't leave the house except for work jessica probably went out like six times in these three weeks most of which with her the, her crew who are are both moms and are probably more reckless than most <laughs> young college women i know like when they go out i know she's not coming back to like 2 a.m neither here nor there but crew y'all know i love you but and she went out and sometimes she went out to clubs sometimes she's went out to where i don't know where she was actually and i didn't care right just go out have fun be safe make sure you come home you know we haven't written the will yet so don't die so my wife i, I leave uh, everything to I, them i wake up next to my wife i ask her how was your night she says good i'm good like i am and for those of you who have seen my wife, she's very beautiful. She's attractive. She's elegant. She's curvy. And there's very few outfits she can wear where her figure is not revealed. So it don't really matter what she's wearing. It's, it's going to be tight and voluptuous. <laughs> you know, so... 
It's like, technically, I I should have, according to some logic, I just have every right to force you. Like, nah, you got to wear them baggy sweatpants and and a hoodie. It's too revealing. But so it's not for me. But what if I was wearing that outfit that Kiki was wearing? Because it was a cute outfit. I wouldn't wear it. It's not my personality. But so I don't have to. So I don't have to worry about it. Does it? Would it make a difference? Because I feel like I'm more comfortable wearing. If I'm gonna wear something more. Well, risque. it's hard. It's again. It's hard for you and me to have that discussion because we're not in that life. That's true. It's a different life, and that's what common folk, commoners like me, most most people. I'm in this class. They they can't comprehend. Right. It's a different world. Mm-hmm. It just is. And this is me knowing absolutely nothing about it personally, other than what I've been told from people who have been privileged enough to either live it or live, be adjacent to it. It's just different. And you can't really apply your morals, your thoughts and opinions as someone who's very uh, separated from that to what people in that space do. You just can't. So there's no sense, you know, writing think pieces and <laughs> Twitter threads and, you know, and I know it's going to dominate and I'm being a hypocrite because we're sitting here talking about it. But no, I just think one, you know, all we ever hear about is stop policing women's bodies. Like, don't tell women what to do with their bodies. They should be, you know, you know, white old crusty pale white men in washington dc shouldn't get to decide what women do with their bodies like okay see that through because it doesn't stop there it stops with how women dress how women how a woman decides to carry herself because honestly whether a woman is dressed scandalously air quotes or not isn't up to her it's up to me because it's my interpretation of her Mm mm-hmm so if I think Kiki's dressed like, you know, whatever, then that's a me problem. It's not a, it's not a Kiki problem. It's, it's me because I have, I, it's what she's wearing goes against some construct that I've, I've developed in my mind of how a woman should dress when she goes out. And more than likely, if that's the case, it's probably problematic. And that's just, that's just me. So I had seen someone make a post uh, regarding, I want to say it was the Oscars um, and Sierra and Russell Westbrook. It's not Brooke. Wilson. No, Russell Wilson. Well, he, play, he, play, he plays player. basketball. Uh, yeah. Okay. That, you, can't, you can't be too upset with me on that. No, actually I can. No, yeah, they're can. both named Russell. Let's <laughs> Their last names start with W. And one's Russell Wilson, and the other one's Russell Westbrook. Yes, but I mean, it's. It, I mean, they're both light skinned. I get you that. No. Yeah. Russell Wilson is lighter than. Cause they're I, both. The, I mean, they're different. They're varying degrees of light skinned. I didn't even know Russell Wilson was black. I thought he was like okay. adjacent. He, he definitely gives ambiguous But we digress. Vibes. Okay, so bring it back. Um, so I'm sure you recall Sierra's outfit. I can't remember the theme. It was like barely there. It was very, her outfit was very risque. People came for her. Um, it was, there was a lot. I personally wouldn't wear it, um, but I'm not Sierra. Sierra is Sierra, and Sierra is designed to do things that she can do. Um Actually, today is their seventh wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Um, Congratulations. So people no, were, never, people were making comparisons to Sierra wore this very risque. You could essentially see everything about her outfit with her husband. And, you know, her husband, you know, kind of did the Will Smith step, stood aside while, you know, everyone was taking pictures of her on the red carpet. There was not like a inkling of insecurity in him but people criticized her people criticized him what kind of man lets his wife go out dressed like this blah 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 granted he was with her understanding from this from the perspective of this this conversation we don't know the ins and outs of their relationship but again it's not an outfit i would wear but i recognized her comfort being able to wear something like that because she's got again sorry for the patriarchy her protector with her so like i know me if we are going out that i will i am more likely to wear something more scandalous 
if I'm with you, then I'm then if I'm with the company of just my girlfriends, because like you said, there are very few things I can wear that don't default me looking scandalous, def- depending on whose perspective it is. Um, if I wear jeans that are my actual size, they're going to be form fitting. They're going to fit. They're going to, you know, accentuate parts of my body, whether I want to or not. So that's something I've dealt with my whole life in terms of the interpretation that someone's going to get of me based off of what I'm wearing. Um, but I know if we're going to be in a certain set setting, we're going to brunch. If, you know, the rare occasion we go to a club or someone's birthday party or something, I'll wear something just a little more, you know, a skirt that's a little shorter. But I'm out with my husband. I'm out with my man. So, you know, if you not that I'm looking for a fight to be picked, but if you're going to come at me like I'm going to redirect you or someone's going to recognize like she's with someone like that's she's his. Um yeah. As opposed to when I go out with my girlfriends, you know, I do dress a little bit differently. I'll wear, you know, jeans. I won't I won't be as cute. Um, and I still get spoken to. And when I get spoken to people, can I have your number? And I'm like, yeah, I'll start a group chat with my husband. And people are like, oh, I don't want all that. Um, or the crew will, <laughs> y'all, sidestepping. My crew, they're so phenomenal. We were, <laughs> we were out, they were working an event. Um, and I was just kind of helping them, holding up the bar, but helping them with their setup. Dude wouldn't leave me alone. And so I'm texting David. I'm like, this dude's over here hitting on me. And David's like laughing like he does not care. Um, he's not concerned in any way. And so <laughs> Alana is over here like, she has a David and we like David. So you leave her alone. <laughs> It was amazing. My yeah. So he he already knew he never had to worry. But like throw my two girlfriends in the mix and he absolutely knows. Um, But the point that I'm making is people came for Sierra. She was wearing wearing a very scandalous outfit, but she was out with her husband. So I guess I'm curious if it makes a difference if you're wearing something more scandalous or what can be perceived as more scandalous. But you're with your partner. Does that make it better? Like if Darius was with her at this Usher concert and she was dressed like that, would, do you, I mean, you're not Darius, but I wonder if he would have that same opinion or is it the simple fact that she went out and again, it gives me insecurity vibes because it's like, why do you have an issue with this? If y'all are together, she probably got dressed in front of you or maybe, you know, I think she was in Atlanta and maybe he's back home with the baby. Um, But it definitely gave off I'm not secure in my relationship for my woman to go out looking like this. So what was, what was your question? I don't know, but okay. I was hoping like out of all of the things I said, there's yeah. something that sparked your conversational interest. No, I mean, I think I, I can't relate. I just can't. I could like years ago, like when we were dating Okay. And I was, yeah, I wasn't, I was very insecure in probably myself and our relationship just because of the state of it. <laughs> but I mean, I'm going to be nine years married, October, been with you four years longer than that. So at this point, I can't really relate to was he insecure or not? Was he? Probably. Um, now, one thing I I can't say that I've experienced is I have not seen my wife dance with one of the greatest, like one of the 20 greatest entertainers of all time. And I'm not there, right? I have never experienced that. I would... I so would, I can't dance with Usher? You, I mean, you can. I would. Um, I, I, so I can't sit here and say, oh, I would do it. But I'm like very confident that it wouldn't bother me. Because one, I would want you to be having a great time. Like like I do now when you go out. Like for all I know, you could run into some local celebrity or whatever. So so even with that, I mean, I'd, I'd probably just be like, oh, that's that's great. So was it insecurity? insecurity? Maybe. Probably, or maybe he just actually thinks that a mom shouldn't be dressed like that. And then maybe, maybe it is different if he's, if he's there 
or or if he's you know maybe he does have a different reaction or maybe the conversation's different maybe she doesn't step out in that if he's with her like i don't know like this is a di- this there's a dynamic that none of us are privy to because we're not in that relationship mm-hmm. so we don't know how much input he has on what she wears how much thought she gives to what he his preference of of her wardrobe is like we don't know any of that you just know that they're not married and they're dating and they have a kid and he got upset like that's that's all we know but again you know i don't i, I didn't really see anything wrong with, with what she was wearing i really didn't because again like like you said you go to the beach there's booty cheeks out everywhere some <laughs> like, chicks that don't have no business. I'm sorry. Like, like, I take that back. Everybody out there, everybody got their booty cheeks out. So, you know, is it where booty cheeks never okay outside of like the house or are they only okay on the beach? I you know. That's where it gets messy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like if if you're so concerned about what a woman should or shouldn't wear, well, you know, you're going to have a hard time justifying, you know, certain things that have been accepted. It's going to be seen as, you know, hypocrisy. So I I, th- I think we should stop trying to tell women how to dress and focus more on why are we perceiving how a woman, why are we perceiving a woman a certain way when she dresses a certain way? Like, why do we do that? Mm-hmm. And I think the issue is more with us, maybe just men, but as greater society, because there are women who judge other women as well. Oh, yeah. You know, why why do we do that? Like, what's wrong with us? <laughs> like, we need, we got some self-dealing we need to do. So, you know. And this is all very, this is all very new for me. Like, I've, I've really, this is one specific Topic I've I've sort of torn down my previous beliefs and thoughts, and I've really tried to have uh, a brand new perspective and not lean on my own understanding. You know, talk to other people, read other read other things, um, because some of that stuff was like borderline misogynistic. So. My apologies to any woman who has to deal with a man who's <laughs> been crying on Twitter for the last forty eight hours because of how Kiki was dressed. My my apologies too. Um I'm I'm spoiled, I'm biased, uh, because I don't I don't have that type of husband. Um and it's something I wish every woman could experience. Um and it's a factor of our relationship that I really appreciate that we have. And I love that even my friends recognize it. Um, like they'll joke around about like David knows, David knows that he didn't have to worry about you. And that's a beautiful thing. And a lot of married couples, unfortunately don't even have that, that security that my partner is going out in environments that, you know, I may not be there and I don't know what they're doing. And it's, it's a beautiful thing if your relationship can be there. And I love that my husband trusts me. Um, and I love that I trust him and that we can even joke around about things. And we've, I feel like our relationship has been tested in many ways in terms of like reasons why we shouldn't. I work in the spirits industry. I work jobs that have me out in clubs, in bars, in, you know, social settings that, would naturally harbor insecurity. Like I remember one time, this was years ago, back, uh, I was working with one of my clients. Um, I was, you know, doing an event in a bar and, you know, I'm building relationships with bar owners, managers, and we were all there. You would come out and I think he had either, like either wrapped his arm around my shoulder, like it was loud, so we were talking, and you know, just the custom, like we're talking. And for me, that that's, that's nothing. And I remember thinking, oh, David's there. I hope he doesn't think this is a thing. And you, you, I mean, you jokingly, you were like, 
who that man putting his hand on you, blah, blah, blah. But something simple as that could have grown into a weed that would have taken over. And now, you know, every time I go out to work, you're wondering who's doing this. So it's not saying that there probably aren't moments that I feel a certain type of way. You feel a certain type of way because you know the environment I'm in. But just that reassurance of actually knowing your partner and knowing who you're married to and and knowing their character that that's something you don't have to worry about for me that's be- like it's it's fun when i'm out and someone is bothering me and i'm like on my phone texting you and letting you know about this random dude who is and like poor <laughs> poor david will have like sympathy for the person i was like i told this guy i'm going to start a group chat with us and and you're like i think the one time you were like he didn't know you had a husband and i was like still it's fun like this is just you know me um because we don't because we don't wear rings we don't um we just have tats so and if you're in a dark club you're not you're not going to see my ring tat so um he his point is valid like dude didn't doesn't know you have a husband um but i'm proud to have a husband i'm proud to you know be a wife to be out and you know i think it's cute i like sharing it because it's like hey you know if I in these streets, you know, they still they still be wanting me. So, you know, you still got a valuable asset. I haven't depreciated in value. If anything, I've appreciated in value. So, you you know, you got an asset in me. Um, but that is something that like when I, you know, I th- and I have single friends and I know a lot of married couples where husbands don't allow their wives to have single friends and wives don't allow their husbands to have single friends because of that influence. So knowing that between the two of us, we're confident in each other, um, that, you know, my husband can go out and whether it be a cigar lounge, whatever environment he's planning on, on being in, and I'm comfortable and confident in that, that's, that's really reassuring. And the fact that my husband knows that my wife is out working in a nightclub or supporting her friends while they're working in a nightclub in a bar and you don't have to worry that, you know, I'm collecting somebody's phone number and, you know, starting a whole relationship on the side. That's nice. Um, and so it don't under, don't under sell it. It's great. It is great. It is really I'd great. Be, I'd be home sleep. Some of the best sleep of my life Love. before she come in and start taking over the bed. So I enjoy it when she goes out. He does. Um, we all spread out. But he also appreciates when I come back too. Anyway, um, yeah, as long as you've been drinking gin. <laughs> anyway, so you know that is something that, like, even for my friends, my single friends, my girlfriends, that's something I want for them it, when they do, you know, get to a place where they're they're getting married. I want that because I've seen couples that are insecure. I've stopped being friends with women because they've had insecure husbands. Where we've gone out and every ten minutes. He's calling, he's texting, where are you? What are you doing? And it's like, you knew you knew what she was doing. We're out at dinner. Um, you know, we're just, you know, getting a cocktail. We're not doing anything ridiculous or scandalous. Why are you, I can't handle that because that's not my, that's not my situation. Um, yeah, so, like, what's the point? Yeah. And like, why are you, like, why are you with why somebody? Why you around if you just won't ask? Like, why didn't you just come? And then why are you with somebody you got to feel like you always got to be on top of yeah, that you can't I, trust? I've never, I've never understood that. And I mean. You're better off just being single. Our just date, relationship just, just doesn't make around. sense. Because I have access to your phone. You have access to my phone. Like, we, the efforts either one of us has to go to to keep a secret from the other is a lot. But it's also not a lot at the same time because, like. I have access to your phone. I never go through your phone. You have access to my, you're always pulling pictures from my phone, but you don't go through my phone. We don't go through each other's stuff because it's like, we're just rooted in trust and their insecurity. So circling back, seeing his post, it really gave off insecurity. And that bothered me. Um, One, again, you're not her husband. So you're requiring things from her that you're not qualified to receive. So that's my number one thing. And number two, if you're the type of man who can't be trusting in your woman, who's not confident in your woman being out in these environments, this isn't the type of woman you need to be with. There are plenty like the scale, the meter of types of women and environments that they have to be in for work, for personal, whatever. It varies. Maybe you're just not man enough 
in that in in the security department to be with a woman like Kiki, who is in the entertainment industry, who is going to have the likes of Ushers and Drakes and whatever, Trey Songs. Actually, I should have referenced him because he like low key assaulted her and I kind of canceled him. Um, but these type of men who the world knows, if you can't handle your woman being around them, then you don't need a woman who's going to be around them. So that's where I stand on it. I don't know that I actually said where I stood on it, but <laughs> yeah, it's going to take just a couple of episodes to get, get back, back in right. The groove. Get, get back right. It's she's, a minute. Sorry. Y'all. She's trying to get, trying to get back. Right. You know, I have to, I have to excuse her, but, uh, yeah, one, a one topic episode rarity. It's only because I've been so busy <laughs> with work that I have no clue what else is happening in the world. A well, submarine, it wasn't a submarine. It was a... Submersible. Even that word is, is suspect. What do you mean? I mean, uh, I... And it, it imploded, it didn't explode. Whatever. I'm not getting it anything that ends in isable. Because, <laughs> like, it's able to not work. I mean, anything, most things that you send that far down to the ocean are going to work a as intended. Yeah, so the... Y'all know about. They know all this. Why are we? Why are you saying like, like we're like breaking someone news? Someone might have missed something, and I want to make sure nobody missed. I... Nobody missed that news. Okay. Did anything else happen? I, I the don't Bob think Marley so. movie trailer came out. I'm so excited. Bob Marley is my favorite musician ever. I love Bob Marley, um, and his this biopic is well overdue. It's an amazing contributor to music. And if you really take the time to listen to his lyrics, there's so much wisdom in his words. So I'm very, very excited um, that he has a movie that is coming out. Great cast. Guy who's playing him played Malcolm X um, in One Night in Miami, I believe. So he. uh, So just recycling black actors again, I see. I mean, what? Nice. Where are they supposed to get him from? I'm just saying. It's like Chadwick Boseman played like eight historical figures. Like we couldn't find nobody else who resembled Thurgood Marshall a little bit better. That's true. But no disres- able- no no disrespect to Chadwick. That's my man. God bless the dead. I'm just saying. But to be able to play Chadwick. Malcolm X and then also play Chadwick Bob had all the bi- biopics. He wasn't he wasn't sharing no nobody else getting them roles. Look, Chadwick locked him down. He needed to get. We he knew we needed to see him. He knew his time here was short. Um, But yeah, so very excited about that. That trailer dropped two minutes, 59 seconds. And I'm like, January 12th, 2024. Just say three minutes. It's two minutes, 59 seconds. (laughs) Um, January 24th, I am... Actually, no, before that, I'm going to make sure... January 12th, 2024, I'm going to make sure that I am seeing a preview, an early preview of that movie. But I don't know what else has happened. Um, yeah, a one-topic episode. That's ridiculous. I'm about to get on threads right quick. See what's tra- see what's trending. No, you know what you're about to do. You're about to sign off. Call so, it uh, night. That's Rush Vibes episode one of season three. I think it's. I guess we're. I guess our next uh, milestone will be a hundred. I don't know what episode we're on. I think we're, I don't think we're quite in the eighties yet. I think we're still in the seventies. We haven't done a hundred episodes. We have. Not yet. We have not done a hundred episodes yet. Wow. No. We have a hundred follow. We have over a hundred followers. Okay. That was the milestone. Yeah. That was like a while ago. I know, but I assume we've hit a hundred episodes. I guess we haven't. No. Uh, we'll hit it. If we if, if we get back regular, we will. You we all will want us back it. regular? Let us know. We'll hit it pretty um, quickly. We've missed you. I have missed. Um, sorry, my hair is just not doing symmetrical things. Um, I have missed podcasting. I have, you know, I do find myself in the car, like thinking about certain topics and like practicing conversations. So it's nice to to be back in it. I didn't practice enough because I <laughs> have not held this episode very well. But um, again, you, you get back on a bike. Sometimes you fall before you remember how to carry your balance. So I'm excited. I think that this new season is going to do some big things. Um, and then just in life in general, we have a lot that's that's been happening. 
we still have three kids. It's still going to stay three kids. So y'all can stop asking if we're going to have more. We don't want a boy. We don't want any more kids. Um, we're in summer vacation. We gave Salas a free summer. She said she didn't want to do summer camp. It was a waste of her time. This free summer is starting to become expensive because now I am paying for her to do things <laughs> when she had free summer camp that she could have been in. But, you know, I listened to a sermon the other day and it said, the pastor said, where your money goes, that's where your heart is. And a lot of my money goes to, a lot of our money goes to our kids. So um, that's where I want my heart to be. I mean, I tithe and all. So, like, that was part of his sermon. Right. But, um, I guess I really love cigars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's where a lot of my money's going. Um, but I really love my kids because, yeah, the kids are, the kids are okay too. They, they, they get a lot of our money. But, not, yeah, life has been good. Life not has bad. been moving fast. I feel like it's kind of slowed a little bit, but it's going to pick up again. And I think this is a good time for us to get back into podcasting so we're gonna be serious we're gonna try to get this monetized so if y'all want to sponsor if y'all got a product out there that you need commercial i think that, that. Uh, yeah that but i think the most important thing people can do is to share, share. Uh, and we can do our part as in putting more stuff out which i kind of i did really well with season one and then not so well season we got two tired. we got tired. I got tired but so. we also said we wanted to do uh, and we kind of touched on it unintentionally but uh, the one thing that we did discuss was just talking more about our marriage and just like the intricacies and the nuances that make our marriage our marriage. Um, so I think our plan is to be more targeted towards single people in terms of like how we got to where we are. We did, you know, in the past few months, we did participate in a singles panel where we talked about our marriage and being married. So um, that is something that we're going to incorporate. Just be ready for it. We're going to talk about relationships and, you know, I'm all about transparency. So I'll probably give out more information than Dave would prefer me to give out, but he's used to that. Look, man, uh, if you haven't already liked us on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Individually, we're on threads. So come find us. You know where we're at, audio, Apple, Spotify, Google, tune in, although I don't think anybody really listens to tune in. So I'm just going to start saying Apple and Spotify. So please, if you haven't already, go uh, subscribe and be sure to leave a review if you haven't already and subscribe on the YouTube and we'll see y'all in the comments or on social media. Maybe we'll start putting clips back on social media again. Maybe. So. Oh, we didn't talk about the coffee. We'll talk about it next week. If there's a next week. Oh, the coffee. Yeah. Well, just for those of you who want to know about the coffee and you're not already, just follow Jessica on Instagram and you'll, you'll know what it's about. First thing in the morning or the noon. All right. So it's good to be back. Yes. I uh, hope y'all been well. We missed you. And we'll, uh, I guess we'll see you next week. We out. Peace. Yeah. Going through some growing pains. Yeah. None but some growing pains. Yeah. Hey, hey. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I done.